Tuning a drone is simple with RG Pilot. I just wanted to make a silly little video about just how easy it was or is to tune a Pixhawk now uh, running RG Pilot firmware. I, I learned about this uh, flying that believer the other day. I, was, I just couldn't believe how easy it is. I forget. I forget these things are like this now. So I think the first thing I do think the developers need to do, you've got this auto-tune level which goes 1 to 10 and should make it number 11 for the rate of aggressiveness. You know, make it number 11. That's the best thing to do. So anyway, let's make, let's make it the most aggressive just to see what happens. That's number 10. And let's not forget to write those, otherwise nothing will happen. So you see that number 10 has got, so we're going to change it. If anything in here, if you change it, it's just change that. That doesn't really matter. If you change something to... Three and a half, well, 35,000 milliamp hours, let's say. That's gone green, look. And unless I write it, it won't change. That's a good got you, that. It gets me all the time, I forget to do that. Um, so we are, right, let's, what should we do? Let us, let's just have a little look and see what's there already. I have already had a little bit of, I don't want standard, that's a mistake. You can see it's my computer's not, not loving this. As a basics, have a little look at those. Now I've got a, a screen grab of those. We'll be able to see see what's what with that. I believe now we are sat in Canada. We're sat at Downs View, uh, CY Charlie Yankee Zulu Delta. That's in Toronto, and at the moment it's where Bombardier does its test flights. But we are sat in a Twin Otter, and it's where this very Twin Otter had its first flight. Let's just throw that. Airborne, shall we? In fact, actually, 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 once it breaks off, I do believe you can do this auto tune right from takeoff. Let's see, let's see if that's the case. I'll set mode. There we go. We are in auto tune. Best I see where we're going. So, what I'm going to do now. <laughs> while my computer hangs for a moment which is going to happen on and off we climb up, give ourselves a little bit of air let's change the view and all we have to do is uh, is move the controls from side to side and you see my computer's not keeping up <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have been clever and chosen the Canadian airfield with lots of generated textures uh, where this thing first had its first flight at 1960 something or other. I'll have to check when. We just crank it around as much as we can, as hard as we can. And every 10 seconds, it should be taking measurements or coming up with better tuning measurements for it and just saving them. Cool, it comes, it comes to a bit of a clunk. I don't know if you saw that on the right there. A bit of a clunk. There's lots of rolling going on there. Let's try some pitching now. Now, coming up, <laughs> Altitude Angel are going to wonder where on earth I live uh, because you can see all those red lines appearing on the um, on the ground control station on our on the right. That little bit of image there. That is the airspace uh, information, etc., etc., from Altitude Angel. Ah, there's my computer pausing again. So the other day we did 10 minutes. So I guess I'll do 10 minutes of whizzing around like this and then um, add some music in and we'll see see what it comes up with, what the changes are. I'm sure some RG Pilot developers are going to tell me I'm doing this wrong now. In fact, let's... Oh, look, there's another airfield over there. Unless that's where we've just come from. Let us... Oh... Oh, long pause. Auto tune, set mode. Yes, we're in auto tune, so that's good. Let's zoom back on here. Let's just look out and see we don't crash. But airfield, that's that's where we've just come from, isn't it? That must have been that one there. Let's go and have a look at that airfield over there. And there's all the altitude a uh, angel um, hazard information filling in. So let's continue tuning and attack. Attack. Oh, wrong word that. Go and have a look at this airfield. Why am I doing a twin otter? Why are you tuning a twin otter, you say? Well, 
we'll come to that later um, I've been thinking about delivery drones what it's really going to look like and I can't but help think that the first real drones to come along are going to be the alias drones uh, or the Aurora Flight Sciences um, alias project which is basically a robot which they sit in the pilot seat and that to me makes more sense than anything else then you could convert something like this which is going to easily be able to carry a couple of thousand kilos and use this for your delivery or your cargo flights it just makes far more sense and just up the road from me is Lesotho in fact I look at the mountains of Lesotho every day or can overlook the mountains every day and um, and yeah that is a place that really does is hard to get around and really does need deliveries to rural places um, so this sort of aircraft would get into the airfields above 10,000 feet quite easily uh, and would also stop so it's a very suitable airframe I think they've started making them again don't know as much pitch oh there we go that's, that's what we want lots of pitch down um, yeah so basically if this were really a model in the real world this is all you do is lots of control deflections and as I say every 10 seconds it, it saves them again and then when you land that's that's your new save settings uh, if you like them or you can throw them away afterwards this really is very very simple very simple indeed um, do not be afraid of auto-tune and do use it uh, makes a big difference there we go 6 minutes 53 whoa there's the computer slowing up again throttle that much now this one's for you Alan <laughs> it's I wonder why it's got two control towers that's interesting I see I'm gonna have to get on to um, onto the G Google and find out I think from memory I've restricted this to 60 degrees of roll and 30 up 30 down on pitch I should have should have done more than that I think um, this is a very displeasing nose down attitude now I know one thing I do know about um, the twin otters did I call it a beaver earlier I don't know but one thing I do know about twin otters is that um, to get rid of speed in the dive they rather use the um, the flaps rather than bringing the engines back because they take a long time to spool back up um, so they rather just speed with flaps that's one of the things they do well I think there's a view from the tower isn't there I don't think I've ever used that view uh, as beacon tower I wonder if that's what that is view well let's see Ooh, that's not good <laughs> that's not good I'm just pulling back here while we're doing that let's try that oh there we are here we come <laughs> so if you had developed oh look I need a new computer someone send a new computer oh I haven't got any power on as well so that whole pull up I did was um, that was uh, yeah, well, uh, alright let's, let's, let's jump back in and uh, we've got to be doing this enough time uh, let's get like this there we are blah, 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 blah. and let's, let's let's use this map to work out how to get back where we need to go yeah so if you had developed your own aircraft or airframe and you'd modelled it really well and had it flying in um, X-Plane then you could indeed be trying to develop it now um, or, or, or get some rough development pids into it um, before you took it out to the flying field so that's very handy indeed what's the time? 9 minutes 35 so we've got to have more than enough time surely oh dear dear me I shouldn't have flown so far away Actually, why do I need to land back there? I don't need to land back there. Let's just go back to where we've just come from. Don't need to land at all, really, do we? But 
people will be able to laugh at me. Uh, let's have whiskey. I don't know, that's not what I expected. Let's have... Yeah, let's open again. Oh, look, there's one in my there. That'll do. That'll do. Give it some flat. There was another one over here, wasn't there? off I'm not sure what it's supposed to do when you're in uh, auto tune whether it with you go hands off it's going to a level mode looks like it is doesn't it I think I was lucky I said no if that's if that's it um hunting like it a little bit more snappy. Let's change mode. Uh, we'll do. Let's, I wonder if I go, if I change mode, I wonder if it'll not record it all. Let's just land like this. It's level 10 tuning. Yeah, so once I've done this, we, I'll, I'll, I, want, I want to get to the bottom of that auto land issue that I had with, well it wasn't an issue, but I didn't really understand what was going on with the Believer, so I want to get to the bottom of it by flying in simulation and repeating and repeating and repeating the process and, and, and understanding exactly how RG Pilot does the auto land thing and just how much sky I need. So that's what I'm going to have a practice at on some short runways in simulation in Lesotho, dear viewer. And you're quite right, the paint has dried. There we go, 12 minutes in the air. Oh look, what's that down there? Is that trucks? It is, isn't it? Never flown at these airfields, so this is all auto-generated. I don't have any of the sceneries for them. That's amazing. How things have come is probably very inaccurate. I also don't have a rudder connected to this. It's a bit of a worry, isn't it? It's a bit of a non-standard arrival. <laughs> a dead stick landing. Now oh, the wind's behind us. That's, that's a bit of an issue. And, uh, we, 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 we don't think we'll make the wrong way. Oh, well. Oh, oh, that must have been the stall. <laughs> right. I have time for two medals, sort of. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should be it, really. Um, that apparently is all you need to do for auto tube. Well, here's what we need to do is it to change. Right, well, let's have a look here. And I'll have to compare and contrast this. Ah, oh, minus 15 down. That wasn't that wasn't good enough. That should have been more than that. Um, that's why the nose wasn't going down much. Alright, I will I will run the video back and see if these have changed. But these in theory should have changed now. I thank you. Well, look, it did make a big change. Um, we see the before and afters, and you can also see that I didn't, um, I didn't do anything with the rudder in that silly mucking about. So I'm going to have to do that again and put some keys on my keyboard because my joystick doesn't have your. So we'll put some rudder in because I'm sure we'll get better coordinated turns if I do that. What am I going to do next? What can you join me to do next time? Next time, I think I'm going to um, to have a go at these also lands at um, different. Uh, different approach angles but I'm going to take myself off to a sea level airfield before I uh, fly off into the mountains so I get it completely right so when I have that ready I don't know but join me next time for that and don't forget like subscribe do all that whatever else you're supposed to do on YouTube 
um, comment below, tell me how wrong I've been, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at 2100 uh, GMT every Tuesday night when we have a general chat with um, clever people from the industry. Cheers for now.